Go with slow shadow on the mic. I play to win, never to lose. In the contest of champions, I'm the one that shoes. Swipe straight oh, down, my moves are slick. Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick. Class champ, I'm the master of the game. Cosmic science, skill tech, mutant, I claim. Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. The fight, I'm swift. My tactics excite. Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world. Marvel, I'm the King Crown, so listen up. Here's the story of the champ, Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grind Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up some more champions. And in this video, we've got three champions that we're going to be ranking up. And I will give you guys a chance to guess uh, which champions I actually took up and one of them will answer a question that i got in the comments and more on that in a minute all right but anyway if you think you can guess which champions i'm about to take up leave a comment below with your guess but we're about to reveal it in five Four, three, two, one. So this first one is going to be me finishing what I started in the last Mystery Rank Up theater. And that champion is Dust. Now, I talked about Dust in the last Mystery Rank Up theater. So you guys know that she is primarily going to be used on defense in battlegrounds i like the fact that she has uh immunities so she is um very friendly with the ouchy masteries recoil double edge liquid courage and also it's a bit strategic because if my opponent in battlegrounds doesn't know that I'm running those masteries, putting her on defense won't really help unless they've memorized the PI of the champions and they can tell that way. But most people have not done that. So she is a way to hide the fact that I'm running those uh, recoil masteries. But also, she's just a really annoying defender. But I've noticed that people are uh, getting used to her. And so they're coming up, you know, with uh, better counters for her um, all the time. Uh, I watched a couple of people uh, fight in Battlegrounds and someone put dust on there and I saw how they handled dust. So I'm like, okay. Now you see here. I also want to awaken her. And I'm going to put, you know, all the six stones that I can into her. But I was not going to max her out just yet. Okay, you see how many six stones I have there? Those are for another champion. Not dust. So that's a hint for you guys if you want to uh, guess. So I put a little bit into her, you know, and you can see what her uh, signature ability is here. Uh, it's not, in my opinion, that needed. But because I run the recoils, I figured that might give me a little bit of an edge. All right. This next one is an oldie, but goodie. And that one is going to be. Ultron. Now, I have liked Ultron for I don't know how long. Notice that I have the arcade uh, rank up gem. And I was like, you know, I've wanted to rank Ultron up for a while. I like him. He is available as a seven star, but that seven star is extremely difficult to get. And even if you get him, 
you won't be able to dupe him for quite some time. Now, he doesn't need to be awakened, but depending on where you're going to use him, you want him awakened. Now, Ultron, I liked for Superior Kang. That fight is fun. I don't necessarily get solos, but I have fun fighting that Superior Kang. He's my favorite fight in the game. Ultron is my MVP for that fight. One of the reasons is because of how he handles the uh, incinerate. But he needs to be awakened for that. So I awakened him um, a long time ago. And I figured now is the time to take him all the way up. And so that's what I did. Next one is going to be Serpent. Now, if you guys have been watching me, you know that I was hunting for a six-star Serpent. So normally the rule that I try to follow is if they are available as a seven star, I'm not going to take them up to rank five. You know, those resources could be better put toward my seven star roster. And I've been taking champs up to rank two as often as I can. Here's the exception. I have a seven star rank two serpent. That seven star rank two serpent is still a beast on defense. However, the awakened ability is so good, it transforms him from a beast of a defender to just, oh heck no, of a defender, okay? So one of the questions that I got in the uh, comments on one of my videos was, am I going to wait for, you know, a chance to dupe my seven star serpent, you know, and basically hold off on ranking up the six star? The answer to that question is no, I am not waiting. I'm taking the six star up uh, and he's going in my battlegrounds deck over the seven star uh, rank two serpent. Now, when I do get that serpent awakened, he will most likely replace the, uh, six star, but we'll see. I want to take the six star all the way up. And in fact, and I haven't decided yet, but I am thinking about taking the six star uh, and ascending the six star as well, okay? So I'm not sure, I'm not sure yet. Now, I have been waiting and you see how I had to go to the Battlegrounds in order to, uh, the Battleground store in order to go ahead and uh, take him up? Well, I had to wait for another level up to get the resources to take him to rank five. So between the time that I took this guy to rank four here, and you can see I'm going to awaken him, of course. That's the whole point of the six star. And I'm basically going to take him and, and max out his sig. Okay. But between this rank four and the rank five, um, I finished raid week in AQ, got a bunch of uh, rank up resources there, um, went to the Battleground store, got some T6, uh, you know, the 25% fragment selector, got all of that, all for this. And in fact, right now, it is 7 in the morning. I have not gone to sleep yet. And I said, well, the level up is going to hit about 5 o'clock. 
my time, 5 a.m. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to make a video if I, you know, don't fall asleep. Uh, I'm going to make this video in time for, you know, my usual time of releasing videos, which is like in 20 minutes. It might be a little bit late. That's fine. Um, but you guys will get it uh, very shortly, uh, shortly here. All right. So you can see here, I went ahead and took him all the way up to uh, SIG 200. You can see what he gets here. Don't sleep on Serpent on offense either. He's actually pretty good on offense. All right. But I wanted to put that up for a little bit so you guys could see his signature ability. I mean, that's where he gets his immortality. So you can see here now I have all of the resources uh, that I need to take him to rank five, which I did. And I love, by the way, the new level up feature where you see right here, you can now use the ISO right from the stash. That speeds things up so much. Okay. I absolutely love it. All right. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he's swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.